field. Let's do what we do. We put these hands on to win. Win on three. One, two, three. Win. Ferguson is coming up with a big time game. He attended the University of Nevada, finishing second in the NCAA with 138 receptions. He was invited to the 2003 East-West Shrine Bowl, catching two passes for 26 yards. Burleson was selected by the Vikings in the third round of the 2003 NFL Draft. Fielded by Burleson at the 10, makes a man miss, 15, 20, and he's loose to the far side. He's gone. One man to beat. He's to the 40, 30, 20, inside the 10. Did he get a touch? Yes! Burleson is the only player in NFL history with three punt returns for 90 yards or more. After leaving the NFL in 2014, he transitioned to broadcasting, co-hosting shows like Good Morning Football, CBS Mornings, and NFL Today. Welcome Nate Burleson into the East-West Shrine Bowl Hall of Fame. Nate Burleson, I just play football, man. But I do love this sport, so I'm gonna tell y'all, just like I said last week, guaranteed to see fireworks. Even though it rains a lot in Seattle, there's gonna be some explosives. So stay tuned. I love y'all for coming out. Let's have fun. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming 2023 East West Shrine Bowl Hall of Fame inductee, Nate, Nate Burleson. How's everybody doing? I won't, I won't take up too much of your time. I want to say thank you to the East West Shrine game. Bob, I appreciate you, everybody involved um, with selecting me to um, be inducted this year. 20 years ago, I got a call to be in this game, and I, I thought it was the greatest news that I've ever had. At the time, my girlfriend, my wife now, Atoya up there, give her a round of applause. I, I, I told her, I was like, you know, they recognize my efforts, what I put in on the field, they are allowing me to shine up against my peers. And 20 years later, they have recognized my efforts on and off the field, and I'm thankful for that. This week for me 20 years ago was an example of what my career became. Um, I want to say thank you to the Shriners for what you have done for, what, almost 100 years now, what you do, giving back to community, um, changing lives, especially with kids. Um, this is something that, as a player, when I got into the NFL in 2003, became a cornerstone of who I was. When I did have a day off and had an opportunity to give back, I gave back. That's because this week allowed me to see what was most important. And I know we have a couple of players here in representation, and I'll be talking to the whole roster a little bit later. And what I will tell them is what I'll tell you. The touchdowns, the tackles, the stats, the records, all that will fade at some point. Somebody else will come along and break it. The money is good. It could buy you a lifestyle, but you can't leave with it. But what you can leave behind are footprints big enough for somebody else to walk in, and that's what the Shriners have done. So I'm thankful for that. Give them a round of applause. Um, I'm just a, a humble kid, born in Canada, raised in Seattle, Washington, and I'm thankful that um, yeah, all right, yeah, um, and I'm thankful that uh, people can see that I'm much more than a football player. Football is a sport that can take you places that you have never been. It is a vehicle that can take you to greatness. Um, but what we realize in a week like this, that if we use this sport as a vehicle to change lives, it can work wonders for people in need. So we, if we continue to do that, this world will be in a better place. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up one more time for your Hall of Fame inductee this year, Nate Burleson.